Hi, welcome back to CBSC Board Economics. I'm Sadam Sen. Today we will be discussing money multiplier or deposit multiplier of commercial banks. We have already seen there are two banks in the economy. One is the central bank and then you have multiple commercial banks. The central bank has all the powers. So the commercial banks have no power. The central bank is the monetary authority. That is the only bank in the country that can issue currency. Commercial banks cannot issue currency, but the main purpose of the commercial bank is to create credit. Credit creation is the main purpose. The more the credit the commercial banks create, the more the profitable it will be for them. So today we will be discussing about credit creation of commercial banks or money multiplier. How do they create credit? They keep on multiplying the money with them in terms of credit not issue new currency but they create credit multiple times how do they do, how do they do it it's not that commercial bank have all the powers to create unlimited credit again it is controlled by the central bank so the conditions of money multiplier or credit creation of a commercial banks there are two conditions the first condition is lrr legal reserve ratio what it means all the commercial banks are supposed to keep a part of their cash reserves with the central bank or themselves without giving as loans or credit to their customers under legal reserve ratio again you have two parts one is cash reserve ratio and one is statutory liquidity ratio which we have already seen but i repeat once again what is cash reserve ratio cash reserve ratio is the percentage of cash deposits the commercial banks have which they are supposed to deposit with the central bank without giving as loans to their customers that is cash reserve ratio a percentage of their demand and time liabilities the cash reserves they have which they're likely to support to put it with the central bank what is statutory liquidity ratio slr slr is the again the same cash reserve ratios which the commercial banks have a percentage of that they have to keep it with themselves without giving it as credit that is slr so lrr is the summation of crr and slr if lrr is high the credit creation capacity of the commercial banks will be low why it is so numerically we'll put it this way if lrr is 80 percent just a hypothetical example the banks can credit the banks can create loans or credit only 20 percent of the deposits they have if lrr is low say only 10 percent that means the banks have 90 percent of, of the cash deposits they have they can create as credit so simply remember the first condition for credit creation is legal reserve ratio which is the sum total of cash reserve ratio and slr if legal reserve ratio is high the credit creation of the commercial banks will be low if lrr is low the credit creation of commercial banks will be high so that's the first condition the second condition is initial deposits of the commercial banks what it means how much money people have kept it with the bank initial deposits again let's see how does it affect the credit creation of the commercial banks if initial deposits are high the credit creation capacity of the commercial banks will be high for example if a bank has 100 billion dollars the bank can create hell of a lot credit if the deposits of the banks are very low maybe hundred dollars the banks cannot create credit so it depends upon 
initial deposits if the initial deposits are high there is a direct relationship between initial deposits and the credit creation of a commercial banks so now we got it the first condition of money multiplier or the conditions for money multiplier of commercial bank depends on two one is legal reserve ratio lrr and the second one is initial deposits now let's see money multiplier and then deposit multiplier formula deposit multiplier or money multiplier is equal to 1 upon lrr 1 upon legal reserve ratio if lrr is let's take one example here 20 percent that means the banks are supposed to keep 20 percent of the reserves without lending it to general public and the bank can give 80 percent of their deposit as loan so the formula for money multiplier or deposit multiplier is 1 upon LRR, 1 upon legal reserve ratio. If suppose LRR is 20%, that is 0 0.2. So how much will be the deposit multiplier or money multiplier? 1 upon 0 0.2, that comes out to be 5 times the bank can create credit. 5 times. We take a numerical example here. Suppose a bank has, very simple numerical example, a bank has 100 rupees as initial deposit. So that is the total money creation by the bank is equal to initial deposit into 1 upon LRR. That means initial deposit is 100 upon 1 upon 0 0.52 that comes over to 5 times. That means 500 is the total money creation or deposit creation by the commercial bank 1 upon LRR. That means the bank can create 5 times the credit. It can create 5 times the credit creation. I repeat once again the main purpose of this we are discussing about money multiplier or deposit multiplier. The main purpose of the commercial bank, the main purpose of the central bank is monetary policy, credit control. The main purpose of the commercial bank is deposit multiplier, money multiplier or creating credit. The more the credit they create, the more profitable it will be for them. We are discussing how do the commercial banks create credit or we call it as money multiplier or deposit multiplier. Deposit multiplier or money multiplier commercial banks depend upon two conditions. The one LRR legal reserve ratio which is a sum total of CRR and SLR and the second one is initial deposit. If LRR is high, the money creation by the commercial banks will be low. If LRR is low, the money creation by the commercial banks will be high. If initial deposits are high, the credit creation of the commercial banks will be high and vice versa. If it is low, obviously credit creation of the commercial banks will be low. So deposit multiplier or money multiplier, the formula for this is money multiplier is equal to 1 upon LRR. If LRR is 20%, uh, uh, then the deposit money multiplier will be 5, 1 upon 0 0.2, that comes out to be 5 times. What exactly, how do you define money multiplier? The multiple by which deposits can increase due to an increase in initial deposit is called money multiplier. What exactly is money multiplier? It is the multiple, it's just a number with which you multiply the initial deposit to get the uh, total uh, money creation by the commercial banks this we can understand with a numerical example how exactly in this case we take initial deposit of commercial bank as amount and then we'll take uh, uh, we take uh, LRR and we explain it with the help of a table okay now we'll see that wait for a second Now, let's see the working of the money multiplier. We have already seen money multiplier or deposit multiplier. It's a number with which you multiply the initial deposits to get the total money creation or the deposit created by a commercial bank. We have already seen if the money multiplier or 
let's put it this way the niche if the LRR is 20 percent that means the formula for money multiplier deposit multiplier is equal to 1 upon LRR that means the bank can create five times money creation or money multiplier multiplied five so this we understand with the help of a numerical example with the help of a table it becomes much easier let's say here working of the money multiplier or deposit multiplier here we assume a bank has got a new deposit or a more deposit of 1000 has come in a commercial bank and also we assume here legal reserve ratio is 20 percent that means the bank is supposed to keep 20 percent of the deposits they have as legal reserve legal reserve ratio which includes crr and slr that means the bank has to maintain 20 percent of the cash reserves they have all the time without giving as credit that means the bank can create the bank can give loans of only 80 percent of the reserves they have so here initial deposit are 1000 and legal reserve ratio is 20 percent so we have already seen deposit or money multiplied is equal to 1 upon legal reserve ratio lrr so that comes out to be 1 upon 0 0.2 that comes out to be five times so the total money creation in this case we can get it here only before we go to the table total money creation by the commercial bank or the total deposit creation or the money multiply the commercial bank will do is initial deposit that is 1000 upon 1 upon LRR 1000 into 5 that means 5000 rupees the bank can credit create create money so that is so let's see we understand this with the help of a table here so here rounds then you have deposits here then you have loans and cash reserve ratios the cash which the bank is supposed to maintain all the time so let's say initial deposit a bank has 1000 rupees so as assumed by us here that's a 1000 we got it from here the bank can give loans of 800 why 800 because of 20 percent of legal reserve ratio and the bank has to maintain 200 as lrr legal reserve ratios 200 rupees the bank has to keep it with themselves without giving us loans so this the bank has given loan of 800 here we assumed one more thing whatever the money goes outside the bank again it will come back so in the second first round 800 has come back to the bank again the people who borrowed the money again the deposit the bank has 800 again the bank will keep 20 percent of it as cash reserve that's 160 and the bank can give a loan of 640 rupees to other people that is loans again in the second round this uh, 640 has come to the bank the bank will keep 20 percent of it as reserves as 128 the remaining uh, the money the bank can give us as loans so in the third round the bank has got 512 rupees as deposits again the 20 percent of this 512 rupees is 102 they keep it as reserves and the remaining 410 they give it as loans so on and so forth till the time this all initial deposit of 1000 rupees get exhausted with the bank at the end of all the rounds so there are innumerable rounds here maybe four five we can't count them so it keep on going at the end of all the rounds so the total deposits created by the bank is 5000 how we got it i showed you here calculation here out of this 5000 rupees the bank has given loan 4000 and that is a cash reserves is 1000 so I repeat the whole money multiplier or deposit multiplier in points it becomes much easier for you the main first point remember the main function of a commercial bank is credit creation the more the credit they care more profitable it will be for them so second point remember the credit creation capacity of a commercial bank depends upon two three uh, two factors number one is lrr legal reserve ratio 
which is the summation of CRR and SLR. Cash reserve ratio is the cash deposits, a percentage of deposits the commercial banks have, which they are supposed to keep it with the central bank and SLR statutory liquidity ratio is the cash a percentage of cash deposits they have they have to keep it with themselves without giving us credit so we already discussed if lrr is high the credit creation capacity of the commercial banks will be low if lrr is low the credit creation capacity of the commercial banks will be high the second point we discussed under conditions of credit creation is initial deposits if initial deposits are high the credit creation of the commercial bank is high if it is low it will be low instead of 1000 if it had been more here maybe 10,000 the bank would have created more credit so that's what we discussed and one more assumption we can take it here whatever the money goes outside the bank again it will come back to the bank so the money goes back and again it will come back and next we discussed it the credit the deposit multiplier or money multiplier is equal to 1 upon LRR legal reserve ratio the total money creation by the bank is equal to initial deposit oh So there was a power failure. So the total money creation by the commercial bank is equal to initial deposit into 1 upon LRR. If LRR is 20%, then the deposit multiplied will be 5. So this we explain it with the help of a numerical example. Here we assume a bank commercial bank has got a new deposit of 1000 we assumed here LRR is 20 percent and now we can calculate your deposit or money multiplier is equal to 1 upon LRR that is equal to 1 upon 0 0.25 times the total money creation by the bank is equal to initial deposit into 1 upon LRR 1000 into 5 the bank can create 5000 rupees as deposit so here we understand here so initially the bank has got 1000 rupees out of this 1000 the bank is supposed to keep a cash reserve of 200 because we assumed LRR is 20 percent the bank can give a loan of 800 80 percent of 1000 so we assume that whatever the money goes outside the bank again it will come back this money has come back 40 20 percent they keep it as cash reserve and the remaining 80 percent they give it as loan Again in the third round this 520 has come back to the bank and the bank will keep 20% of its 102 rupees and the remaining 410 rupees they give it as deposit so on and so forth till the time that initial deposit of 1000 gets exhausted. At the end of all the rounds which we can't count at the end of all the rounds so the bank deposits have gone up to 5000 rupees out of 5000 rupees the bank has given a loan of 4000 and cash deposits of 1000 rupees this is the working of the money multiplier or deposit multiplier this is one of the very important topics in banking so this this is the same somewhat like this which we have discussed earlier that is called investment multiplier investment multiplier so the principle is almost the same so that's all we have time for today till we meet next time it's goodbye from Saddam Hussein please subscribe share and like our videos best of luck for your board exams bye bye